What is energy? Energy can be defined as the ability to do work. Energy is available in various forms such as gas, liquid and solid that comes from a variety of sources. However, these energy sources must be transformed into usable forms, such as mechanical, electrical, heat or light. As humans, every day we depend on energy to supply us with electricity, hot water and fuel for our cars. Sources of energy can be classified into renewable and non-renewable. 90% of the world's energy comes from fossil fuels such as oil, coal, natural gas, and nuclear energy. These are considered as non-renewable energy sources, which mean if we use them all up, we can never get more during our lifetime, because non-renewable resources are not replenished on a continuous basis. Fossil fuels are the number one contributor to global climate change, by releasing carbon dioxide to the atmosphere when they are burnt. This results in habitat destruction, loss in biodiversity and unpredictable weather patterns that causes severe floodings. Because fossil fuels can run out and are harmful to the environment, it is important that we start switching to other alternative sources like renewable energy sources. These are considered as energy resources that are available naturally on a continuous basis, or can be continually replenished over a short period of time such as Sunlight solar energy, wind energy, hydropower energy, geothermal energy, ocean energy, and biomass energy. This means that we can use them as much as we want, and we do not need to worry about them running out, additionally renewable energy resources are usually much more environmentally friendly than fossil fuels. According to the latest United Nations report, the total world population was estimated to have reached 7.6 billion as of October 2017, and the current population of the Caribbean region has contributed to approximately 44 million of the total. In terms of a geographic location, the Caribbean is the region of the world that consists of the Caribbean Sea, and all the islands surrounding its coasts including the mainland territories of North, Central, and South America. The Caribbean mainly comprise of small island developing states which are maritime countries that tend to share similar sustainable development challenges, including small but growing populations, limited resources, remoteness, susceptibility to natural disasters, vulnerability to external shocks, excessive dependence on international trade, and fragile environments. As the population size continues to increase in the Caribbean, the demand for energy and resources also increases, therefore countries must invest heavily on their energy sector which involves delivery of transformed fuels to the point of consumption. The primary energy consumption in the Caribbean comes from approximately 82% non-renewable resources such as petroleum-based products, and less than 10% renewable resources. The feasibility of using renewable energy resources in the Caribbean, is high due to the fact that sunlight, wind, biomass, and water are abundant throughout the region. So you might be wondering? Given the fact that renewable energy produce 0% carbon dioxide emissions and will not run out, then why are we not using them everywhere and all the time in the Caribbean? It is because the cost of harnessing solar power, wind power, or hydroelectric power is very expensive, and are inefficient since the cost of electricity generation using fossil fuels is much more cheaper. All Caribbean countries face similar supply deficiencies. Although each country has unique energy sector conditions, most face the same supply constraints. These include limited generation capacity, 
outdated power systems, isolated grids, and lack of technical expertise that, together with episodes of high and volatile oil prices, have resulted in high average electricity costs. The single most important cost problem is the region's heavy dependence on expensive imported fossil fuels. Trinidad and Tobago, for example, is rich in fossil fuels. Their energy sector is solely dependent on natural gas and oil for energy production. This has led to a lack of diversification to other alternative or renewable sources of energy. This has led to a lack of diversification to other alternative or renewable sources of energy. Other Caribbean countries who do not have fossil fuel reserves, have no other choice but to find alternative sources of energy by investing with international cooperations and Trinidad and Tobago is an exception because, they are the only net exporter of oil and natural gas, all other Caribbean countries are net oil importers. Trinidad and Tobago generates electricity using natural gas only, with Barbados using a small percentage of natural gas and petroleum. Out of all of the Caribbean countries, Jamaica and Belize has the most diversified energy sector. These two countries generates electricity by utilizing a combination of wind, solar, biomass and other alternative renewable resources. Overall, the Caribbean region should invest more into renewable energy resources for many reasons. 1. Produces little to no global warming emissions. 2. Improves public health and environmental quality. 3. A vast amount of inexhaustible energy is supplied. 4. Provides jobs and other economic benefits. 5. Decreases dependency and vulnerability to negative externalities. And 6. Stable energy prices and economies. Thank you for watching. This video was created by the Environmental Watchers Group, for the purpose of education and awareness.